Now that up there is the uh, 600 watt, that's a 600 watt max, 400 watt rated. Seems it's pretty good like the uh, Hyacinth 300 watt. It pretty much doesn't need much to get it moving. Out here and see if I can get a better shot. They're moving quite nicely. Yeah, it does appear to be putting charge into that's a three phase that one. You gotta have a look at the charge light right now because there's a bit more wind coming through. Yeah, that seems to be it about the charge. Yeah, the charge light's showing. Never mind the one that's constantly on, it's the load light, but there's no solar panel. So it's showing there's something with the load. Yeah. Charging quite nicely, thank you, I'd say. That one there was uh, offered in either DC or three phase 12 volt or 24 volt. I got that one on AliExpress, the same as the Hyacinth. Uh, no, it had a problem originally when I put it up there. The wind was blowing exactly as it is now, but it would hardly move. That means its brake function was on for some reason. So it's sort of a matter of fiddling with it and then undoing it, then putting it back on and spinning it for a moment. It loosened up. I noticed that when I put it down on the, uh, the trellis here with the pole, what had happened is I, I tried to spin it and it only go a few spins. It didn't seem as though it was particularly tight, but it was tight enough to stop it and slow it down. Which is quite subtle. Now that up there is what should be occurring. It should have been free spinning. Now a bit of a lull in the wind now. It's only in the test position. That one's up six metres, but it's not too bad. The controller down there is an MPPT 200 to 600 watt wind turbine with 150 watt solar allowed on it. It's a 12 volt one. This is a 12 volt model also.